Hi and Merry Christmas, everybody. Here's a short piece of how I use the pick, especially for funk playing. And I'll play a simple line and, uh, and try and dissect this, dissect it as usual. And this is the line. It goes like this. Three, four. <laughs> And a bit faster in the right tempo would be like this. And I use a lot of muted and ghosted notes and I'll try to explain what I'm doing. Uh, I use a Dunlop. Dunlop pick, uh, 1.88 millimeter, it's a rather soft pick actually. And <clears throat> when I pick, I, I tend to mute the strings down here with my the the side of my hand. So instead of getting, a, if I didn't mute this time, because you, you can hear the whole string ring, I tend to put my my hand on the strings here. It's quite similar to the technique that when you use the, the palm muting technique like Max Miller does a lot of time. It's also the hand just lying here. So two lessons in one. The palm mute. Here I'm just using a pick to get the attack. And sometimes I lift my hand a little bit just to, to get more, more, uh, more sound. Um, that's one thing when we took the line here. Why I'm using a pick is to like kind of emulate uh, rhythm guitar players where you get all the accents when you're playing. So if I was to play this with a normal finger technique, I, would, I couldn't even do it, but I'll try it. I of course have some some muting and some slapping, percussive slapping with like this. But when I use a pick, I uh, actually has all the subdivisions in my playing because this this line is like a, if you 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 count it, you would say one, two, three, four, and you got the the eight note subdivisions one and two and three and four and all the sixteen notes. One and two and That's what I have in my when I play the line. I actually play all these sixteenth notes, but I just some of them I play by my pick. My hand goes actually like I'm playing them all the time. So I, I try to play this slowly. Maybe I'm not doing this, but I, in my head I'm thinking. So if I'm doing just on one string, the same uh, like rhythm pattern. Uh, I think the, the, the thing is when I play with a pick and I play, if I just was to play quarter notes, Four to the bar, I would say two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I was to play eight notes, I would still do with downstrokes. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. In this tempo, this is like a medium tempo. If I was to play a fast tempo uh, and playing eight notes, it was a one, two, three, four, one, two, I would probably play down and up strokes. Uh, like in most rock and roll songs, unless you play speed metal. And uh, the, I know a lot of speed metal bass players, uh, uh, 
who want to play the downstrokes as fast as possible. I, I, I can't do that. I, I do not have the chops for that. Or punk players, uh, Ramones and, and stuff like that. So I, I tend to play the fast eight notes with the down and upstrokes. And uh, you should also say when you when you're counting, when you play with a pick one, two, three, for all the down beats where your foot gets down, it's down with the pick. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And uh, uh, if you play this tempo and play eight notes, one and two, and you can still take down strokes. Can okay, also, of course, as you. If you think that's easier, but now I'm also talking about one string actually because uh, we I move over the over the fretboard. So we that was down and up. I could also. Okay, the pick eight notes. I tend to use downstrokes. When I get to the 16s, if I do a pattern like gung ga ga dung ga ga dung ga ga dung, which is an eight note and two 16s per beat, I would do down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. I'm still muting with this. And this one lifted a bit, and of course I'm also muting in my in my left hand when I'm playing. If I'm gonna stop a note, I say badak. You can see here in my uh, this left hand, I press down the string when I need, and then I lift my finger to stop the string. So I'm actually muting and stopping the strings both in my right hand and in my left hand. So back to the line I played before with. Let's see if I can remember it. It's almost six minutes ago. Probably another line, but doesn't 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 matter. It's the same thing about playing. I'm playing D on the A string. We are in the key of D, playing like a kind of dominant seventh uh, type of of lick. Dominant seventh is over the chord D seven D nine, and I use the chord notes. The root, which is uh, D1, and we have implied the, the the third major third, and the fifth, and the seventh. That's flat seven. That's the D7 chord. And of course, when I play this line, I, I use some other notes too. But that's the basis of of, of the chord. So, when, but this is just about me playing the, the pick playing. So. So you gung ga da, this is actually the same rhythm. Gung ga da gung, I say boom ba da boom ba da boom ba da boom ba da boom boom ba da boom ba da, and then I'm I like just pausing this. With some dead notes, when I'm just striking this thing and not pressing the things down, and this is also when I begin. And I lift the I lift the fingers off the fretboard just to get the muted note here. 